Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey. AG Bailey, as a fellow AG, how blatantly and absolutely wrong are these actions by Letitia James? This is a gross miscarriage of justice. Remember, this was a fraud trial. The only fraud here is that AG Letitia James is masquerading as a competent attorney. Look at some of her pleadings. There's no reference to case law, and why is that? It's because there's no legal authority for what she's doing. Let's remember, this was a civil fraud trial where the claim was that banks gave loans to President Trump based on misrepresentation, and yet Letitia James isn't going after those banks for failing to do their due diligence uh, when providing those loans. The only reason they provided those loans, in fact, was because President Trump is a brilliant businessman who was enormously successful and made tons of money for these banks and every other investor. And Letitia James hates that. She hates his success. And so she's weaponized the justice system against him. And it's, it's terrible for all Americans. It's a it undermines due process and undermines the rule of law. Let's face it, she campaigned on going after Trump. She's going after Trump, all while real crime is running rampant in New York State. So what arguments do you make in support of Trump in your filings with the court, and what arguments should Trump make to prevent what amounts to a stealing of his life's work from happening? Well, that's exactly what's going on. This is just a theft by the state of New York at the at Letitia James' uh, direction of property owned by the president. And remember, this is property that he obtained legitimately through his business acumen. But I think it's important to remember that the appeal bond is intended to prevent a losing party in a lawsuit from taking their money and fleeing. And yet the assets she's trying to seize here are immovable. Those assets will be there after the appeal is completed. So there's no need to race through this process of seizing property. But also, I would point out that the whole purpose of a bond and the whole pur purpose of a judgment at the end of a civil trial is to make a party whole. Well, when you have no victim, because everybody who did business with President Trump as part of these transactions made money, there's no one to make whole. So again, there's no need, there's no legal justification to seize this property. Also, on the fleeing argument, the job that Trump's going for is in Washington, D.C. Kind of tr tough to flee the country and be president. So that completely blows that line of thinking out of the water. If I'm sitting here watching this, I know Trump's a, a, a lightning rod for controversy, but I'm wondering what can happen to me. So can our legal system survive if targeted prosecution and enforcement like this is allowed to stand? No, this kind of witch hunt against President Trump is really just the tip of the iceberg. And I would warn all, anyone doing business in the state of New York, I would invite President Trump to move to Missouri. We're open for business. We'd love to have him here. And folks that are doing business in New York need to be advised that the Attorney General of New York will weaponize the justice system and contrive facts and law in order to take them down if they don't uh, uh, ascribe to her ideological bent. There's also the notion of what does Letitia James know about running a golf course? I haven't looked at the names on the lockers at Trump Westchester. I can tell you, not a lot of people are going to be too primed for club pro Letitia James. They're probably going to cancel their membership. AG Andrew Bailey, got to leave it there. Thank you so much for your insight. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.